Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. Uh, today we are doing another speed build and I'm going to keep the voiceover short and simple. I'm not going to be doing it for the whole time. Um, mostly because I don't have a lot to talk about when it comes to this video because I didn't design this house, which I'll get into that in a second, but also because I'm still like kind of getting over being sick and I don't know if I can make it 15 minutes without coughing. Um, so I'm just going to give a brief statement about this house. So as you guys know, I do the Sims speed build videos where I replicate a house from the Sims free play. Um, that's like an app um, that you can get on your phone. I replicate default like houses from that app onto the Sims 4 and they're probably my most popular videos and by far the most fun to make because I'm not like the most creative person. I mean, I'm not just saying that to be humble or anything. I don't think I'm really creative. Sometimes when I'm building houses, I get stuck in the same kind of patterns where I create the same kind of, you know, teen boy room or like little girl room or something like that. Um, I tend to use a lot of the parenthood kind of stuff, making like really family family type homes. Um, so I like doing the like replication videos because I get to kind of search for items and explore the inventory a little bit to like see oh what looks like this chair the most and I kind of like go like right there like I'm like going between like a few different ones um like that chair I would probably never use um so I like doing those but my problem is is that there's only so many default houses on the sims free play and I don't know how many I've how many videos I've done so far using that. I know I've done like the Teen Idol Mansion. I've done a couple of like the smaller houses. I did the snow um, house that was like a new one, which is like something you had to kind of like win in a sense um, with the quests. If you guys play the app, you understand what I'm talking about. But um, I'm really scared that I'm going to like do those really quickly because like I said, I like doing them the most and they're like the most popular that I'm going to like run out of them so I decided to do an architecture home which if you guys if you guys don't have this app you're gonna be like just lost and have no idea what I'm talking about but they I don't know about a year or two ago they added a feature called like the architecture homes where you can submit you can design a home and submit it to like the app or like the game developers or whatever and then every like week or two they pick um like a handful of them and anyone in the like anyone with the app can like buy them and I don't really know how it works um it's not like the gallery it's not like you you know upload it and then there it is and you know your name's on it and stuff that's the that's my main problem is that I have no idea who created this house I have no idea you like I can't give credit and I think that kind of bothers me um so anyways this house was one of the architecture houses that I really liked and I really wanted to replicate and I think like I think they do kind of like themes every so often there was I I can't remember but there was some kind of theme like there was some kind of quest and then where you got a bunch of items and then usually like the next like week or two the architecture homes will be like houses with a lot of those items so that's why I like this house kind of has some like some sort of look to it but um I really liked this house and I wanted to replicate it really badly just because it was something different for me to do but there's no way for me to credit the person because when you upload it you're just like when you're well I shouldn't say uploading when you're submitting it you're just submitting it and like you don't know if it's going to get picked and like you don't know if it's like you don't know who made it and I mean I don't want to say it's a flaw but um it definitely kind of hurts me in a sense because of what I'm using it for because I am built this house that somebody else made up so um that's kind of the only bit I wanted to say and obviously because like I didn't make up this house I don't really have much to say about it because none of these creative decisions were mine um, but I did kind of want to put that little, I guess you could call it disclaimer there that this house is not my idea. It did not come from my head. 
it was a replication from The Sims Free Play, and I have no idea how to credit the person who did build this house, and um, I hope it doesn't bother them. I, I mean, if it, for some reason, if I, that, that person does stumble across this video and it does bother them for whatever reason, I mean, it's, it's just a Sims free play house. Like, I don't know. Um, then I can obviously work something out then, but I don't know. I just, I like building the Sims free play houses and I have kind of like, thought about, you know, when this channel, if it ever gets bigger, doing some kind of thing where you guys can submit your Sims free play houses to me using maybe like screen recordings in Google Drive, like uploading like a screen recording or like screenshots of your houses and me trying to replicate them. Um, that's a thought. If you guys are, um, like if you guys like would be into that, comment below. I know a few people have expressed that that would be something that they'd be interested in, um, or that, that they want to see me building Sims Free Play houses, which I am not good at, but, um, it's something I've been, like, thinking about doing. I just, I need to save up money on my game, um, for that, but, um, yeah, I just, I like doing stuff Sims Free Play related because it's, like, my favorite game ever, probably more than, definitely more than The Sims, um, like, 4 or 3 or anything, but I am also scared because, that new app Sims Mobile or whatever is going to be coming out like any day now and I'm not sure what's going to happen to the Sims Free Play after that and I'm not sure like how that's going to go if there's going to be a gallery for that maybe you know maybe this like maybe on here I'll replicate some of those houses I have no idea what the future holds when it comes to like the Sims on mobile devices so I've kind of been just waiting to see how that is going to, like, go, but, um, until then, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. Um, my next video, though, is going to be an original, and it's kind of like a contemporary house, so that's why it's been taking so long. Um, I want to keep doing those, um, just kind of like a different style, like I said, and then, um, I should, I should probably do another Sims Free Play, like, default house. I just haven't in a while, I feel like. So maybe I'll do that too. Um, comment below what you guys want to see just in general. If you guys like the one pack series, I am super proud of the previous video. Um, it was me using only the cats and dogs stuff and it was kind of like a cabin-ish kind of like um, house and I like was super, like I, like I said before in this video, I'm not like the most creative and I was so proud with how that like that house came out. So, uh, definitely go check that out. That'll be probably, like, linked at the end of this video. And that's all I really have. So, please subscribe to this channel if you guys want to see more. And you can also check out, I have a vlog channel, which I have stuff in the works for. Um, now that, like, school has kind of started and I understand, like, how my schedule is going to work and stuff like that, I'm kind of getting back into the swing of making videos on both this channel and my vlog channel, so be sure to check that out. It'll be linked below and at the end of this video. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll leave you to it.